conduit not be available or impractical, cable running through frames or beams must be a minimum of 25mm or 1 inch from the nearest edge of that structure. If the frame or beam is metallic, then the cable should be protected by a bush or grommet. Speaker installation Standard installation would specify AS10 or SS10 ceiling mounted speakers which are matched to the Incognito system for optimum audio performance. However, virtually any customer specified speaker units may be used. Where ceiling or wall mounted speakers are used, care should be taken to ensure that all building regulations are followed. When mounting speakers flush to a ceiling or wall, ensure that enough depth or clearance is available in the respective cavity. A clearance of at least 80mm is necessary when mounting incognito in ceiling speakers. Care should be taken to avoid joists, load bearing beams etc. Before cutting ceiling loudspeaker holes, it is suggested that the area is tested for clearance by making an L-shaped probe from strong wire, e.g. a coat hanger, drilling a small hole in the target area, inserting the probe and slowly turning. Any obstruction will be immediately obvious, so that the target area can be moved to a more suitable position. The use of a joist and metal detector like this is also a good idea. Also, locate loudspeakers taking into account location of furnishings for optimal stereo reproduction. Speakers. Whether you choose active speakers or passive speakers and keypads, the installation process is similar. A cardboard cutting template is supplied to mark your cutting hole. Just ensure that there are no obstacles such as joist, pipes or cables before you start cutting. It's easy to make sure by lifting floorboards from the room above. With active speakers, one run of Cat5 cable is fed to the amplified speaker. A short run of speaker cable is then connected from the active speaker to the passive speaker. With passive speakers, a run of speaker cable connects each speaker directly to the keypad. One for the left speaker, one for the right. SS10 passive speakers. Cut holes using template. Use testing equipment. Remove speaker grill by pushing housing dogs out gradually and return to close position. Strip back speaker cable ensuring positive and negative are correctly positioned. Terminate speaker cable. Raise into position. Tighten screws, but do not over tighten as this will prevent the grill going back on. AS10 active speakers. Strip Cat5 cable. Terminate left speaker output and cable goes to second speaker. Jumper needs to be on right input. Terminate in same way as SS10. The IR10 plugs into the appropriate source output on the AH10, CD, DVD, AV1 etc. and the self-adhesive emitter is attached to the IR receiver on each piece of source equipment. Incognito ready, connecting up a one zone system to 640A version 2. The simplest form of Incognito is to connect it to an Incognito ready amplifier such as the 640A version 2. Listen to your hi-fi in one or two additional rooms. Enjoy the same audio source in all rooms at the same time. By installing a simple run of Cat5e cable from your Incognito Ready amplifier to your choice of Incognito keypad and or ceiling speakers in each room, you will be able to listen and control the same audio output in up to two additional rooms at the same time. This is ideal if you want to use your hi-fi in the sitting room and the dining room or the bedroom and the ensuite bathroom. Example Equipment Requirements Incognito ready amplifier. Connected hi fi separates of your choice. Up to one AS10 incognito active speaker pair. Or up to two incognito KP10 keypads plus up to two SS10 ceiling speaker pairs. PS10 power supply. Optional extra LR10 learning remote control. Incognito ready. Connecting up a two zone system to 840A. Listen to your hi-fi in one or two additional rooms. Enjoy different audio sources in two rooms at the same time thanks to Incognito. The Cambridge Audio 840A, for example, is Type 2 Incognito ready and features additional advanced electronics. By installing a simple run of Cat5e cable from the 840A to a keypad and or speakers in each room, you will be able to listen to and control two different audio outputs in different rooms at the same time. This is ideal if you want to be able to use your hi-fi to listen to different things in the sitting room and the bedroom at the same time. Equipment Requirements Cambridge Audio Incognito Ready Type 2 Amplifier and other hi-fi separates Up to one AS10 Incognito Active Speaker Pair 
or up to two KP10 incognito keypads and up to two SS10 ceiling speaker pairs. PS10 power supply. Optional extra, LR10 incognito learning remote.